All right, that is country superstar Kelly Lang's popular single, I'm Not Going Anywhere. That song is featured in Ascension Hospital's national campaign. Kelly Lang is a 17-year breast cancer survivor, and Miss Lang joins us now. Good to see you, Kelly. Thank you so much for coming on this Friday. How you doing? I'm doing great. We're, it's a rainy day here in Nashville, so uh, happy to be here with you. It's much more brighter in here. <laughs> well, hopefully we can bring a little bit of sunshine in your life in this interview and for those watching at home. I'm curious to know about this song. It seems to be a lot of passion, a lot of emotion behind it. Tell me about that. Well, I wrote the song before I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I saw a friend of mine taking care of her husband, and the only time he seemed to feel comforted is when she would say, Honey, I'm not leaving. I'm not going anywhere. And fast forward a few months after I'd written the song, I needed to hear that myself. I was dating whom I later married, T.G. Shepard, country singer T.G. Shepard. And um, he told me those exact words. He pulled me down uh, in a terry cloth robe and wrapped me up and my bald head was showing and I was green. And I just, as we were dating at the time, I thought, oh, it's your time to go. <laughs> I can't, mm. can't expect you to stay. But he said... Honey, I'm not going anywhere. And it just was full circle for me. And then all these years later, when Ascension took that song to be their uh, theme song for their campaign, uh, it really came at the perfect time to honor nurses and doctors and those people that give such wonderful care to the patients that are left there. And the families can't uh, be with them. Some of the families have even written me and said that song was of comfort for them, too. So it's several full circle moments for me. Yeah, you mentioned that the it's it's so heartwarming because you mentioned that the broader purpose that this song can bring. I mean, going through this pandemic, uh, you know, as as we have as a country, as divided as as we are, we've all had to face this at some point. Whether you've known someone or you know of someone who went through it, or closely, you've lost someone uh, within your family, your friend group. Um, it, it's it's important to you know, music can really touch your soul. And um, that's something that it, it, it obviously resonated the, uh, with Ascension picking that up. And I know you have a brand new autobiography out. It's called also I'm Not Going Anywhere, which we see on your screen. Uh, it's available now. Um, if you can, ju ju just tell me more about what we would find uh, under the cover of this book. OK, great. Thanks for allowing me. Uh, well, my beautiful friend and fellow breast cancer survivor friend, Olivia Newton-John, wrote the foreword for our book. Uh, she's such an inspirational light for so many people that are going through breast cancer. And um, so that was very lovely to, for her to do that. Within the chapters, it'll show my career when I began starting off as a country music singer as a young girl. My dad was Conway Twitty's road manager, so I was around the music industry from the time I was one year old till now. And uh, it follows my career a little bit there and marriage and divorce and then meeting TG, our love a story that goes, <laughs> mm. we were, we've been together 21 years now, so it's been quite a, quite a journey. And then bam, right in the middle of the book, I am hit with Miss Lang, you have breast cancer. And I was flying high, so it really made me angry. It really stopped me in my tracks. And as you can see, I didn't look too, too cute, bald and a little bit green there. But um, I chose to take that moment and turn it around. I, I had a change of attitude. It could have been my death sentence, and I could have just gone down that dark path and stayed there. Yeah. But I changed my attitude, and I changed it into a life sentence. And this book is a gift back to people that, that might have been in my shoes. Right. I wish I had somebody my age to talk with about it. And uh, this allowed me to get this off my chest to be able to be of some light for somebody else. Well, Kelly Lang, we appreciate the music. We appreciate the book. Uh, best to you and, and TG, 21 years. My goodness, everyone wants to know what the secret is, but I'm out of time, so we're going to have to have you back. net or Amazon for the book. I would lovely appreciate that. <laughs> you got it, Kelly Lang. All right, have a great weekend. Thanks for sharing your story.